Now we're finna start devotion. Everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. Everybody say amen. 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 Let's let the church say amen. Let the children say. scripture today will be Luke the second chapter 7 through 11 Uh, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. the angels and the shepherds and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were all sore afraid, afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be the pe- all pe- to be all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Amen. May we bow our head. Lord Jesus, thank you for covering us with your graceful arms coming down this dangerous highway. Please keep keep in your mind and keep care of the sickly people that have been catching this bad virus. Lord Jesus, please keep us in your arms and please make sure you take care of us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for waking us up another day to come to your house. Lord Jesus, thank you in your holy name. Amen. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk the morning to the journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. Be 
Thank you for lending your voice and helping our youth this morning. At this time, we're going to turn it over to the pastor. Come on, give God some praise in the building. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for our children. They are doing a marvelous job. Thank God for Sister Johnson and others that are working with our children, Sister Batista, and we are just grateful for them this morning. We would always want to give them an opportunity to grow, to grow and be a part of the worship service. Years from now, they will look back and they will remember the times that they had to share here at Damascus Missionary Baptist Church. We are grateful and we are thankful that God has allowed us to be here one more time. We thank him for all his wonderful blessings this morning. We always want to recognize him because he's the reason that we are here this morning. We came to worship. We came to give God the praise. And at this time, uh, let's hear from our hard-hitting Damascus U Choir. Amen. In the choir stand.
Jesus is the only way. Jesus is a reason for the season. Amen. Amen. Little brother Caleb. Amen. Singing out of his heart. They are doing a wonderful job. Uh, we have an insert at this time. Uh, a poem, please. Amen. Amen. Got a poem from my youth department. Amen. Christmas, the true Christmas spirit. A long time ago, down Bethlehem Way, a star shone in the night sky as bright as the day. The shepherds were watching their flocks with care when a host of angels appeared in the air, proclaiming the Son of God had been born to deliver our souls on that cold Christmas morn. You will find him wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, with the cattle lows. A few short decades later, he died on a cross. Without his sacrifice, we will all be lost. So as you're running around buying gifts and treats to have a big party when your family meets, stop and remember why we celebrate this day. It's not about gifts and food and games to play. I think of that, we all have enough. When you think about it, it's all just stuff. The gift of love is what Jesus gave and salvation the day he arose from the grave. To love each other is all that he asks. I know that at times it can be a big task. Just humble yourself and look all around. I think what you found will be profound. There are many who can only afford the gift of love. No presents, no tree with the startup book. Look into your life and you will find you are blessed. By many who love you, that gift is the best. So when it comes time to bless your meal, ask for your family to be blessed as well. Not with the gifts or money or material stuff, but that love and tolerance will be enough. Remember the loved ones who cannot be there, but rejoice they're in heaven and not suffering here. And when you see someone who is down and out, don't put them down or have them any doubt. Just do what you think Jesus would do. Give what you can to help them through. If they misuse it, that's between them and God. In Jesus' eyes, you have done your job. God bless you and enjoy your family Christmas Day. May peace, love, and happiness come your way.
Hallelujah. Come on, give God another hand of praise. Amen. I didn't say Reverend Baker. I said give God another hand of praise. Amen. Amen. He's so, he's so, so worthy. Amen. 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 I'm so happy and I'm just overjoyed with our children this morning. Uh, Emmanuel and, and Jesus, the reason for the season. God is just good, isn't he? He's just simply good all the time. And we're excited on this Sunday before Christmas. We are standing before him, worshiping him. Amen. Amen. We are grateful for all the things that are going on, all the gifts and all the gatherings that are going on. But I want everyone to remember to make Christ number one this year. Amen. We are close to the end of the year. We're still here. Amen. We're still giving God the praise and always make him number one. Amen. For he is everything. He's everything to each one of us. And we will stay focused on him. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for all his blessings. We will be coming to the word of God. My assignment today on this Sunday before uh, Christmas. We're coming from St. Luke. Very familiar uh, book, St. Luke, for this time of year, this season of the year. Amen, amen. Amen. I hear my little granddaughter. Amen. Let me know that she's in the worship service. Amen. <laughs> amen. 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 St. Luke. St. Luke. Verses 41 and 42. St. Luke. The first chapter. Verses 41 and 42. When you found it, shall glory. glory. Oh, thank you, Lord. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutations of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. May God bless the reading of his holy and magnificent word. I want to talk to you just for a few moments on the thought, Jesus Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus. Oh, what a what? Wonderful child. wonderful child. Thank you, Lord. By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave, but just for one word. And made old death behave by the grace of the Lord. I come a long way. By the grace of the Lord. I've come a long way. Can I get a witness in the building? He brought us a long way. By the grace of the Lord. I've come a long way. I could have been dead. 
to leave it in my grave. But you spoke one word and made old death behave by the grace of the Lord. I've come, I've come, I've come, I've come a long way. There's a man over the river giving sight to the blind. There's a man over the river giving sight to the blind. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to thank him this morning. Oh, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm so happy. Thank God for all his blessing. Woke me up this morning. Feeling all right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If I couldn't say a word, what would you do? I'll just wave my hand. If I couldn't say a word, I'll just wave my hand. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm happy today. Happy because of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Eternal Father, as we come before this holy altar, Lord Jesus, I need you this morning. I need you like I never have before. Lord, I ask that you strengthen. Strengthen us, Father, through your word. We need your word in time like these where every time you turn around there's shootings and people are in trouble, relationship issues. Father, I need you to speak, Lord. Speak loud and speak clear, Father. I need you to, to change some lives, Father. I hope pray that they open their hearts up to you, Jesus, and their lifestyle will change that they would turn to you for all the answers. Lord, speak. Speak until somebody say, I'm ready to repent and to change and to give my life to you, Father. Oh, God, speak, Lord. Speak, Father. Hide me behind the old rugged cross. I want your people to you see you, Father, and not me. In your holy name, Father. In your holy name. We pray, Father. Amen. 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 Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Oh, my God. How many here know he's a, an amazing God? He is so amazing. The things that he has done. For me and for you. Amen. We all can recognize this morning that he is an amazing God. That he is a wonderful counselor. How many know that you can go to him any time of the day? You can call on Jesus. How many know he is a great counselor? Amen. Sometimes you can't find family, but you can call on Jesus. Sometimes you look around, you're all alone in your house. But how many know you're not really alone? When you got Christ, he's there with you. He's there. He's there to comfort you. And it's important for us to realize how powerful he is with all the situations now with mental illness and people that are depressed and anxiety is at its all-time high. Not everybody is happy this time of year. 
Not everybody has the smiles on their faces and they're laughing, and, and, but they don't have family. They've lost their loved ones and things, of, things, situations are going on with them during this time of the year. But I'm here to introduce them, if they don't know Jesus, but to introduce them to Jesus. Jesus will be there for you. When you can't find nobody or somebody to say amen, how many know he will be there? He's there all the time. People come in your life and people come and people go. But Jesus does not. He's there all the time. We just need to reach out and receive the blessing. We have all we need to survive in this world. We have Christ. And he says, seek him first. And all these other things. Don't worry about all these other things because they're going to they're gonna come. But, but seek him first. And everything will be all right in your life. We see in our text, uh, Luke, the great physician, we, we see that in verse 41, he says, and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. That's what I say, a wonderful child. Oh, yes, he's a wonderful child. Look, look, look. Elizabeth, uh, Mary went looking for Elizabeth, and, and, and she, and they had a conversation. They both was pregnant with, with, uh, with prophets, and, and, and look at Elizabeth. She she, she's not jealous of Mary because she knows she's carrying the forerunner. Come on, somebody say amen. You got to, you have to know your ministry and know your place in the ministry. John knew he couldn't be Jesus. He was the voice crying in the wilderness. Those that are in Sunday school, amen. Sister Lagan and others, amen. You know it. Yeah, he, he's that voice crying in the wilderness. He had his place in the ministry. Each one of us, we have our place in the ministry. You are a great encourager. Y'all stay in your line. Stay in your ministry. You know what God wants you to do, so why are you over here in this ministry? Amen. And you've been called for this ministry. Somebody say Amen. Work where God has planted you. You do what you can and God will do the rest. Oh, somebody here know what I'm talking about. You have to keep pressing on. You have to work in the ministry. Like this morning, and uh, somebody may have stayed up late last night, but you still made it to church this morning. But somebody stayed on in the bed. But, but I don't understand that because when you, you go to work, but you can't come to church on Sunday morning. Somebody say amen now. Amen, amen, amen. God blesses us with health and strength Monday through Saturday, and we're doing everything we want to do. Everything. Getting up, staying up late, getting up early. But when it comes Sunday morning, some of us are, oh, Lord, I just can't make it out there. Too cold. No, I can't sit down on God. He's been too good to me. I don't know about nobody else in this place. If I got to shout by myself, I'll shout me and my family. Because we know what the Lord has done. It is, it's no joke. <laughs> I know what God has done for me. He has made ways out of no way. So many times the enemy thought he had me down. And God lifted me up. Somebody say amen. amen. People tried to backstab me. How many know God blocked the knives? Good God Almighty. How many know God will block the bullets? Good. Somebody say amen. It could have been us. All the shootings that are going on. Don't you know it's God protecting us? It's not that we're so good that God has kept us here. It's because of his love. It's because he decided that he has more work for us. That's why we are still here. I don't take it for granted. So many people take it for granted. You just think that you're just here. You just, oh, I'm, I'm surviving. I'm one that can make it through things. No, it's Christ that's carrying us. It's Christ that's taking good care of us. It's Mary's baby. Good God Almighty, hold me, Holy Ghost. It's Mary's baby. That's why I'm so excited. He's a wonderful child. He's a wonderful, wonderful child. And the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to understand that the babe 
John was excited. You know, you, get, you, you leap when you're excited. Isn't that right? When you're at a football game, you're leaping and you're waving and somebody say amen. I don't see many people when your team is winning. I don't see you just sitting there looking. Somebody say amen. When, you're, when our team is winning today, it's Jesus. Jesus is our team. Amen. He's a team leader. Amen. So I'm happy. I got a reason to leave. John had a reason to leap inside the womb. Elizabeth. Amen. He leaped for joy. He, he leaped because of hope for tomorrow. He knew that, that Mary was carrying Jesus, the hope for tomorrow. Jesus, our way out of no way. Jesus, good God Almighty. He leaped for joy. I don't know about you, but I'm leaping for joy this morning. Because he's been good to me. Been good to my family. Been good to my church. Somebody say amen. amen. He's blessing us in spite of what we think, in spite of how we feel. He's still blessing us. Look at, look at, look, look at Elizabeth and Mary. These two women working in the ministry and bringing forth uh, newborn babies. And look, 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 look at verse 42. And she spake out with a loud voice. See, I'm one of those from the noisy crowd. And I, when I, good God Almighty, when I think about the goodness of Jesus, I can't hold my peace. Sometimes I feel like running. Sometimes I feel like dancing. Sometimes I feel like just giving God nothing but Holy Ghost praise. Sometimes just sitting still and tears just running down your face. Somebody need to say amen. Some people don't holler, but they, they got it on the inside. They just sitting there and just enjoying Jesus. Enjoy Jesus. Enjoy him while you have a chance. Look, at look. Now she spoke with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women. How many know she spoke well? <laughs> she really spoke well. And, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. You know, she was under the control of the Holy Ghost. See, when you get the Holy Ghost and you're under control of the Holy Ghost, you do some things that, normally, that normal people don't do sometimes. Somebody say amen. When you, are, when you are under control of the Holy Ghost, like Elizabeth was at this time and you have to know that through the word of God that these women they made a big difference in the world and I want to know that each one of us have our place in the ministry these women here these two women yeah Lord they had their place in the ministry and they were in their lane they were doing what God had mission, had commissioned them to do. They were being obedient unto God. That's one thing we all got to work on, is being obedient unto God. We need to do what thus says the Lord and stop doing it our way, but do it God's way. Somebody shout God's way. Good God is the only way. It is the only way. Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord right now. Good God Almighty. <clears throat> he leaped before joy. I'm leaping this morning because he woke me up this morning. I'm leaping this morning because he's taking good care of us. I'm leaping this morning because he's healing my mother right now. I'm leaping this morning because he's a right now God. I'm leaping this morning when I rode up on the campus this morning. But do ice frost was on the grass and I looked and I saw the cars that are normally here on Sunday morning and I said Lord I thank you Jesus 
for those that have pressed their way. I said, Lord, I thank you. They could have stayed in the bed, but they got up and they came to give God some praise this morning. The reason they are here, because they realize that you are an awesome God. How many know he's an awesome God? Somebody here know he's a good God. I've tried him and he's everything to me. I've tried him and he made a way. Anybody know he made a way? He made a way. Anybody here know he's a way making God? He's holy, meek and mild. Somebody here know he's holy. Somebody tried him a long time ago. Somebody got a relationship with the Lord. Not no oh good God Almighty. Too many people are just trying to date God, but you need to marry God. Get a strong relationship with the Lord. Y'all get connected to the power source. That's why some of us are so weak right now. We're not fully connected. You need to be connected to the power source. When you connected to the power source, the Holy Spirit will show up in you. How many know he'll show up? He'll show up. Sister Linda, won't he show up? He'll show up. He'll show up. Sister Frank, won't he show up? He'll show up. He showed up for me so many times. When I couldn't see my way, he showed up. He showed up for me. If you want, if you want him to show up, give your life to him. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't you know he shed his blood for our sin? Somebody here know he will. Won't he wash away all of our sins? Somebody here know he will. Ah, I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. He's everything to me. He's everything to me. There's something about the name of Jesus. There's something about that name. Anybody want to witness? There's something about the name of Jesus. Good God Almighty. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus that makes me feel good. I say it one time, I say it again, then I say it the third time. Something on the inside won't let me, won't let me hold my peace. It won't let me hold my peace. It won't let me hold my peace. I got to keep moving. That sound, at the sound of that name, dead people start walking. At the sound of that name, good God Almighty, sick people become healed. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. I'm believing him. I have several people on my prayer list. I'm believing God. I'm believing God for a miracle. Lord, I know you can do it. I know he can. Anybody here know he can. I'm believing. I'm believing God. I'm going down my list. Some here at Damascus. Some in the Mississippi. Some in other areas of the world. I'm believing healing in the name of Jesus. He said, ask. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm calling on the name of Jesus. I'm calling on his name. He's everything to me. He's my hope for tomorrow. He's my joy in a time of sorrow. He's everything.
everything. He's everything to me. He's my battle axe in war. Good God Almighty. He's my lily in the valley. He's my lily. Somebody know he's a lily in the valley. Good God Almighty. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's good. Anybody here know he's good. He's good to me. He's good to me. Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Jesus. God sent his only son. Good God Almighty. God sent his only son. He died. Anybody here know he died? He died on Calvary Hill. They took him down, put him in Joseph Newton, but he didn't stay there. He didn't stay there. He didn't stay there. He was early. It was early Sunday morning. Anybody here know it was Sunday morning before the rooster crow? It was early. It was early. Hallelujah. It was early Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Hold me, Holy Ghost. It was early. He gave his best. That's why I got to give God my best. Somebody need to get that. That went over somebody's head. But maybe you'll get it on the way home. He gave his best. Surely, surely I can give my best. My best of service to him. And to continue to tell the world about Jesus. I'm going to continue. As long as I got breath in my body, I'm going to tell you that Jesus is real. And that Jesus is alive. He can power, he's alive and well. Don't let nobody fool you now. My job is to let you know that he's alive and well. That you need to give your life to him before it's too late. Before it's too late, give your life to Christ. Church members and those that are viewing this morning, we're going to have to stand before him one day. We got to give an account for ourselves. I can't give an account. Well, I got to give an account for members of this church. But you, I can't give an account for what you've done. Amen. Good God Almighty. You got to give an account for yourself. If you need to come out of some sin, this is the time. If you need to let it go, somebody needs to let go and let God. You know it's not in line. If you're not lined up with the word of God, it's time to change before it's too late. I'm here to tell you, one of these old days, it will be too late. Each one of us in this building, Sister Wright, we all have an expiration date. I don't know when it is because if God had told me, I would have came and told you. So he didn't tell us. So it behooves each one of us to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm not just saying on Sunday. Until my Monday through Saturday. We need to walk like Christians ought to walk. We need to change the words that come out of our mouths. We need to speak life into our children. We need to speak life into our friends and family. Be careful what you say because words do hurt. Some people say, I'm okay with no, but words do hurt. Say kind things to each other. God loves, how can you speak these things and, and have Christ on the inside? You got to let the Holy Ghost have his way in your life. I'm here to tell you that time is winding up. 
we must do it now while we yet have breath in our bodies. It's very important that everyone believe that today. If you don't know him, this is your hour to give your life to Christ. He's coming back. Can't you tell by the things that are going on? I'm seeing things that have never happened. That's going on in our society now. People are doing unusual things. Time is winding up. And I implore you to give your life to Christ. Step out on him. And he will. He will save you. Romans 10 and 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in thine heart. God has raised him from the dead. Thou shall be saved. Hallelujah. God bless you. Come on, choir. God bless you. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. Don't let this moment pass. Wherever you are, make the decision to follow Jesus. He's near to all those that call upon him. He's near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Over Jesus saying, we're going to ask uh, if y'all will, senior choir member, come up and help us sing this song. Hallelujah. Whosoever will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to line up across the front or y'all want to, you can line up across the front. And Miss Frank, will you please direct Jesus? Oh, what a wonderful child. Sister Frank, please direct Oh, what a wonderful child. Let's give God the praise. Just line up right now here. That's fine.
y'all call him the lily of the valley. Some of y'all call him a brighter morning star. But I like to call him Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The more I call him, the better I feel. The more I call him, the better I feel. Mary's baby, born in a manger, bright morning sun, the lily of the valley, meek and mild, Jesus, my help is coming, Jesus, I feel a moving, Jesus, 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 help me call him, Jesus, lily of the valley, Bright and morning star, some of y'all call him Jesus. I like to call him Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank God for each one of you. We thank God for all that you've done. And we thank God for this year. God has been great. From our house to your house, we're wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. And we're praying that all will be well. We have our little grand, amen. We're praying that all will be well with each one of you that you will enjoy your families and always know that Jesus is the reason for the season. We love you so very much and we hope and pray for a prosperous new year. Sister Baker. Yes. Praise God. Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We're so grateful that God has brought us together again to another Christmas, Christmas 2022. Yes, Lord. Oh, what a wonderful child. What a wonderful blessing. We give God all the praise and glory. And from our house to your house, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed, joyous New Year. Amen. 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 We love you all. And we pray that God will continue to pour our blessings on each one of you. At this time, let us prepare our hearts for our health ministry, please. Good morning. is one of the most diagnosed mental illnesses Jesus. there is. It occurs more frequently in men. It increases significantly during the change of the seasons. Here we are moving from the fall season to the winter season. 
in three more days. The holidays, Christmas is upon us. And seven more days, transitions and deaths. I used to hear my mother say, every year carries its number. So let us be good shepherds. Be on the lookout for the signs of depression. There are various types of depression. And there's definitely treatment for depression. We know that depression if left untreated, suicide can take place. Twitch, a well-renowned dancer from Montgomery, Alabama, a graduate from Southern Union, always had a smile on his face, making others laugh and be happy. You would have thought, looking at him on the outside, what was going on in the inside would not lead to depression. His 88-year-old grandfather, he said goodbye to him. Grandfather not knowing when he texted him and said, I love you, Dad, Dad. Every smile is not a smile. Every dance is not a dance. Every hello is not a greeting. And every goodbye is not announced. Mental illness is real. Encourage the people in your life who are suffering emotionally to get help. Help is there. Pray to God. Pray to God. Do what you can naturally, and God will intervene supernaturally. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. We are praying for the families.